I'm Mark Tierney, the Senior Director of Quality and Regulatory Affairs with Zometry, and this is another edition of The Quality Corner. In today's edition, we will be covering a key section of our workmanship standards, more specifically, machining countersinks under our metal fabricated products section. I'll illustrate some unacceptable and acceptable countersinks produced in machining that may create issues to the subsequent function and quality of the assembled components. I will review the what, the why, and how to avoid unacceptable products by providing a wide variety of examples across a large range of products. Let's start by looking at some unacceptable conditions. In image one, witness marks on the surface of the finished component do not meet our standards as it can be perceived as poor quality. This is generally caused by a tool holder. Be sure to properly set the tool within the holder to avoid it from coming into contact with the product itself. In image two, we see unacceptable chatter marks that exceed the print surface finish that can lead to less than full contact of mating parts and screws. In image three, we see an example of a torn or ragged edge where the hole breaks through the metal that can lead to holes that are larger than tolerance. They can also lead to chips that contaminate the system as a whole, creating foreign object debris, also known as fog. The next image displays an oblong hole that can lead to less than full contact of mating parts or may lead to a poor assembly. All of the last three examples could have been avoided. These are generally caused by feeds and speeds of the machining process or a tool that was not fully engaged and locked into place. To avoid these nonconformances, be sure to fully understand the material being machined, the tooling being used, and the machine itself. Also be sure the countersink tool is fully engaged and locked into the holder properly. In all cases, consider testing the tooling and adjusting feeds and speeds on separate pieces of material. Now let's look at some acceptable workmanship conditions. In image one, the countersink is round and to print size without chatter, ragged edges, or burrs, and is not oblong. Now let's cover why countersinks are so important. Image two is a diagram created to show the proper countersink size. Countersinks made to print tolerances allow the proper designed fit with the mating screw. As you can see, an undersized countersink may lead to the mating screw causing an interference fit of other products or scratches. An oversized countersink also violates tolerancing where it may lead to the mating screw sitting too low and can create a weaker than designed assembly. I thank you for your time and watching this video today. And this is Mark Tierney with Zometry, and this is the Quality Corner.